Joining us this morning is Dr. Ross Goldberg, president of the Arizona Medical Association and District Medical Group Vice Chair of Surgery at Valley Wise Health. And uh, Dr. Goldberg, thank you so much for your time. I know you uh, connect with us on Fridays and we so appreciate it. Um, it has been now a few days that we have seen these numbers over that 4,400 mark in terms of COVID-19 uh, numbers here in Arizona. What are your thoughts now that we're starting to see some of these numbers rise? Good morning again, as always. Uh, yeah, this is a concern. Uh, I've mentioned it the last couple of weeks that we're starting to see a trend in the wrong direction. It's not just case numbers, it's hospitalizations, it's everything put together. It is a warning sign that we need to really get a hold of this and get in front of the virus. We have uh, examples in other surrounding states of how things can get really bad. We don't want to get to that point. Mm -hmm. And now the message really needs to be strong that we all have to do our part, wear a mask, social distancing, all of that. Yeah, you mentioned some of the other states with California instituting um, that curfew from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. We do not want to see that here in Arizona. Can you speak a little bit about the um, the governor made the announcement earlier this week, millions of dollars going towards, um, you know, some of the hospitals or medical staff here in uh, in Arizona to help with this effort. Do you know where that money will go? Uh, no, I've not heard any details of the plan. I appreciate uh, the offer to provide funds to hospitals. Again, I've mentioned before, resources are scarce. Uh, everyone in the country is looking for extra resources. So we really are on our own and need to make sure that our staff, our healthcare workers mm -hmm. are protected and that they're able to do their job. So I appreciate that. I look forward to seeing the details of that plan, but it is nice to see that we are gonna hopefully get some support to maintain what we're doing. Do, do hospital staff have all the PPE that they need? Um, from what I've heard so far, we can never have uh, not have enough PPE, let's put it that way. So far, I've heard in the hospitals, it's okay. But again, we are kind of tipping our toe in this surge again, and we don't want to be in the same place we were a few months ago. So really, preserving PPE, getting as much in as possible, using it when we need to are, again, good ways to make sure we have enough to handle what's coming. You know, uh, there was a lot of chatter early on uh, during the pandemic here in the Valley about setting up St. Luke's Hospital, which has now, uh, of course, closed uh, a number of years ago, I believe, and setting that up kind of as a reserve to care for COVID-19 patients. What are your thoughts on, on maybe setting that up just for COVID-19 patients, or is that just an effort that is too large to take, too costly to implement? Well, I remember when we announced the uh, the St. Luke's uh, potential, I was actually standing there uh, in the background when it was discussed. So again, it's nice to have that option, but it still comes down to the staffing. You can have all the physical beds you want. Mm. If you don't have the staff available, it really doesn't do you any good. So my question is, do we even have staffing available to handle that given what's going on in the country? Is it a good backup plan? Absolutely. We should have everything and anything on the table to prepare. But right now, we really want to get everyone's attention to stop the surge where it is. And that's why we need to do all of these other uh, recommendations beforehand so we don't have to get to that point and have to think about it in those terms. So 30 seconds, I have one last question for you. Then do you see a lot of these traveling nurses potentially visiting Arizona to help with the, with the effort? I don't know if we'll have them this time because they're needed so many places. Uh, there's a lack of resources across the country. I don't think we can rely on that. I, again, I don't have official word that they are or not coming, but it is a concern when you hear about how many staffers are needed across the country, there aren't enough people to handle that. So I don't think we should be relying that they're coming to help save everything. We have to really rely on the resources we have here. All right, Dr. Goldberg, thank you so much for your time this morning. Wear our masks, be safe, social distance, um, and uh, we appreciate your time. Have a great weekend and happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well.